This is a complete course. So for those who are thinking of engineering, this is for you guys. Because my topic will be a complete uh, sequence of differential equation from start to finish. Okay, uh, let us start. <clears throat> my first topic on differential equation is uh, DE01, differential equation 01. The title of the topic is uh, Differential Equation Introduction. Introduction of Differential Equation. <clears throat> Since uh, we are now through with differential calculus and integral calculus, it's now easy to understand what is a differential equation. Well, I will try to define a differential equation. Differential equation is an equation that contains derivatives for differentials. If a given equation has a dx and a dy or dy over dx or dx over dy, we could say that that equation is a differential equation. So that's the definition of the differential equation. It contains differentials and it contains derivatives. A derivatives meaning you are taking the derivative of one, uh, one variable with respect to another variable. That's derivative. And differential is just simply differential x or differential y. So if an equation contains differentials or derivatives, that is termed to us. Differential equation. Okay, it's easy guys, right? Uh, the next thing I would like to discuss here is the order of a differential equation and degree of a differential equation. At least we know what's the difference between order and degree. Oh, I will give an example so it will be easier to understand. If I will write dy over dx here, okay, Okay, dy, dy over dx. Then I will place a power 2 over here. The 1 inside, I could say that the order is 1. And the power that uh, brackets that dy dx is the so-called degree. And that is equal to 2. So you now know the difference between an order and degree. Uh, order is actually the number of times dy dx uh, came out from the equation, the highest. It should be the highest. And uh, the, the one that bracketed that dy dx is actually the degree. So if this, just, if this is just one or just simply like that, I consider the degree is one. If I will place this as 2, I could say that the degree will be 2. If this is 3, I could say that the degree is 3. So at least uh, we now know the difference between order and degree. Order is the one inside and the degree is the one, the exponent that goes outside. So that's the difference between order and degree. Easy, right? <laughs> because uh, we know the differential and derivative. So if you say order, it will be the number of times that uh, dy dx come out or came out from the equation. Okay? And the power that bracketed that uh, dy dx is actually the degree. Okay? I would like also to bring out two types of solutions here. 
in differential equation, there is the so-called general solution and the particular solution. Uh, general solution is uh, it's just the same in integral calculus. If after the integration, if upper, after the integration it will be x dx, and if we try to integrate this one, what will come out will be x squared over 2 plus c, right? We always do that in integral calculus. This is plus c. And for the meantime, since that c is not, uh, is not known, we could say that uh, this solution here is a general solution. Okay? So if the constant of integration is not known, we term 2 for the solution as general solution. It's easy, right? Uh, how about the particular solution? It's the same. It will be uh, x square dx. Uh, okay, then we try to integrate this one. This should be x cubed or over 3 plus c okay plus c uh, that will come out to be a general solution if it will give you a condition okay okay and we can solve for c assuming the value of c is equal to 1 if this will become 1 Okay, I could say that the solution is a particular solution. Particular, particular meaning uh, the constant of integration is already known. So there should be an initial condition for us to solve for the constant of integration. So if you are given a problem, okay, and it will give you an initial condition, supposed to be the solution that is being asked is actually the particular solution. That is a particular solution. So, particular solution is actually a solution in which the constant of integration has a definite value. Uh, definite value meaning because we are given an initial condition and we can solve for the constant of integration. So, it has a definite value. Right? Or differential equation is easy. Okay? So, we now know the meaning of a differential equation. We now know the significance of the order. We now know the significance of the degree. We now know what is a general solution. We now know what is a particular solution. And we are ready for differential equation. Okay, uh, I will give you an example. Okay. Uh, example number one will be dy over dx plus y equal to zero. I place it here, the, or, uh, the order is first order and the degree is first degree. How many times that y is a, how many times that uh, dy dx come out or came out from the equation? It's only one time, right? So it's one time, first order. And what is the power of dy dx? Actually, dy dx is actually to the first. So this is first degree. See? So the first equation is actually dy dx plus y equal to zero. The order is first degree, uh, first order, and the degree is first degree. E uh, example number two. d square y over dx square plus dy dx plus sine y equal to zero. I place it here. The order is two. The order is two. Okay, and the degree is equal to 1. Uh, why the order is 2? Uh, I place it here. Uh, I don't know if we have discussed this under differential calculus. Uh, d square y over dx square is actually the derivative with respect to x of dy dx. Okay, the derivative with respect to x of dy dx is actually d square y over dx square. Okay. So the meaning of this, uh, y was uh, taking the derivative two times, so the order is actually two. 
right? Two. And what is the highest order derivative? It is this. Uh, actually, the power of this is actually to the first. That's why the degree of the highest order derivative is first degree. So the degree is one. Okay, you got it? Uh, last example. x dy dx quantity square minus 2y dy dx plus 4x equal to 0. I place it here. The order is actually first order. The order is equal to 1 and the degree is equal to 2. Uh, why is that so? Uh, dy dx dy dx uh, how many times it come out? The highest one is actually uh, 1, right? 1, 1. Uh, this is 1. Uh, forget this one for the meantime. The 2. This is 1. This 1. So the order is actually 1. Right? And how about the degree? Uh, degree is actually the number that bracketed the first order. Uh, the, the order. Okay? And the degree for dy dx is actually... This is 2. So I place it here. The degree is 2. Okay? So the uh, first one is first degree, first degree, this is second degree, this is two. Okay, but take note, don't forget this one. The derivative with respect to x of dy dx is actually d square y over dx square. Or actually, they term this one as, I don't know uh, if I have discussed this under differential calculus, it is uh, y double prime. Because uh, the derivative, the derivative with respect to x of y can be written as y prime. And if you try to repeat that, the derivative with respect to x of dy dx is actually y double prime. Okay? If you want to not always write uh, the d over dx, uh, some books or some uh, professors prefer the y prime for the first derivative and y double prime for the second derivative. Okay? But uh, don't forget this one. Don't forget this one. The derivative with respect to x of uh, dy by dx, okay? It should be it should be written. This is the proper way on how to write it. It should be d square y over dx square. Meaning, this is actually y double prime. Okay? Uh, y was taken the derivative two times, so it got a two, uh, two slash over here, y double prime. Okay, uh, I will try to summarize the next uh, part of our uh, subject. Uh, we will discuss first order derivative. So it will only be of the form like this. It got so many classifications of first order derivative, uh, meaning the order is just uh, first. For the meantime, we got five topics. So, so this is actually a broad topic. Oh, okay, I will try to discuss number one. Number one is variable separable. That will be our next lesson. Number two will be exact differential equation. Number three is differential equation solvable using integrating factor. And number four, it is Bernoulli's equation. And number five is homogeneous differential equation. That's the sequence of our topic for DE02. Okay, D is 02. Because D is 01 was the introduction, the one I am discussing right now. At least we now know what is a differential equation, what is order of a differential equation, what is degree of a differential equation, what is a general solution, and what is a particular solution. That's the basics of differential equation. Without knowing this one, uh, you will be at a loss. Okay? At least you now know differential calculus in integral, but at least uh, when we go to differential equation, these are the requirement concepts. The meaning of differential equation, the meaning of order, the meaning of degree, the meaning of general solution, and the meaning of particular solution. Uh, good afternoon. That is the introduction of the differential equation course. This is a complete course for those who are taking up engineering. Uh, good afternoon, Los Angeles.